In this ROS2 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to include a launch file in another launch file. And that's going to be quite useful if you want to scale your application, for example, so you can have multiple launch files. And also if you want to use a launch file from another package that you have installed. And we are going to do this with Python, but also with XML and with YAML. And as you will see, well, including a launch file with XML and YAML is going to be way much easier than with Python. And for this tutorial, I'm going to start from this. So I have three existing launch files, one in Python, one in XML, and one in YAML. Okay, because if you want to include a launch file in another launch file, you need at least a first launch file that you want to include. So those are the ones. And what I do in this uh, simple launch file, I just start two nodes. Okay, that's a very basic example with a demo nodes CPP talker and demo nodes py listener. So just two nodes that communicate with each other. Okay, I have this in Python, I have this in XML, and I have this in YAML. So I have, of course, in cmakelist.txt, I have already put this install instruction so that any new launch file I create here is going to be installed when I do call con build. And also in package.xml, I have added exec depend for any package that I use. So if you want to include a launch file that's from a different package than this one, make sure you add an exec depend here for well the package where the launch file is. All right, and to start those launch files, well, I can just do ROS2 launch and then my robot bring up. I have named them demo.launch. And you can see I have, so I use tab, I have the PY, the XML, and the YAML. So as an example, I can start the Python one and you can see we have, well, the application is started. And uh, if I launch the XML or the YAML, it's gonna be exactly the same. So now let's include a launch file in Python. So I'm gonna create a new Python launch file that I'm gonna name it um, include tutorial.launch.py. So make sure you have the .launch.py extension at the end. And then, well, here is where the fun begins. So we're gonna write a launch file with Python. So first you need this from launch, import launch description. Okay, that's the first import that you need. And you need to create a generate, so def generate launch description. So exactly this function. In this, you will need to create a launch description and return it. So I'm just going to do uh, LD, for example, is equal to launch description and then return LD. And in between, we can uh, do whatever we want. So we can start node, but we can also include other launch files. And to include a launch file, well, you will need to actually import quite a lot of dependencies and the code is going to be a bit bloated. So don't even try to understand. Okay, just write the same as I write. And actually how I found this code is just by browsing code on GitHub and, and finding a code that already exists and just copy and paste. Okay, there is no secret from Python launch files. Basically, you just copy and paste stuff and hope that it works. So what we need to do is from launch.actions with an S import and then include launch description. I also encourage you to have the auto completion uh, so that you can avoid some errors. And then from launch dot launch description sources, so description sources with an S also, import, we're going to start with Python, Python launch description source. Then we need to import, so we're going to use the OS module, and we need also to import from Ament index python import get package share directory okay just that and then we can write the code so let's create other launch file okay that's the one that we want to include and how to find it well you will need to do the include launch description that you have imported here and then inside this so you open close the parentheses Inside this, you're going to put the Python launch description source, and then you open and close the parentheses, and then you will do os.path.join. Okay, so you can create the complete path for the launch file, 
and how to find the package that's going to be get package share directory with the name of the package. Okay, so now what package do we need? Well, I want to include this demo.launch.py. So this is in the package my robot bring up. So let's just type my robot bring up. And then after this, so in the OS path join, I would add then maybe just on a new line here the uh, path. So that's going to be launch slash demo dot launch dot py. OK, so to the path of the package, I add also launch, which is the folder here slash demo dot launch dot py. So the path to the launch file. And once I have this, I can do uh, LD. So that's my launch description, add action. And I can add the, uh, so I've just named it other launch file, and then I can return the launch description. All right, so that's basically a lot of lines just to include a launch file. I know that's a lot, doesn't make sense, but that's how you do it. And well, don't think that I knew this by heart. Now I'm going to show you, I'm actually just copying stuff from this file that I've written previously. So if all of the syntax and the imports don't make sense, well, don't worry too much because you are not the only one here. Okay, I'm going to save this file and now it should be complete. So I can, uh, well, I don't need to do anything else because I've already uh, put the install instruction in my cmakelist.txt. So I can go back to the terminal. And of course, I will need to build so I can install. So ROS2 workspace, and then let's do a call con build. Uh, maybe I can also do a packages select. So I just build my package, which is named. So select my robot bring up. And after I have installed the launch file, I can, of course, source um, install and setup.bash. And once I have sourced, I can do ROS to launch my robot bring up with include tutorial.launch.py. And you can see we are, well, this is the functionality that was started in the demo.launch.py. So it correctly works. Great. And so this is how to include a Python launch file inside a Python launch file. You can see here we have Python launch description source. Now, what if you want to include instead this XML launch file? Okay, the good thing about ROS2 launch file is that you can include any launch file from any other launch file and the language doesn't matter. So here, if you want to uh, include the XML launch file, you will actually need to modify. So here, the, the from launch, it's not going to be this one. I'm just going to comment it like that. And you need to actually do from launch underscore XML dot launch description sources, import XML launch description source. And again, please use autocompletion if you don't want to become crazy with this. And then I can replace Python launch description source with XML launch description source. And finally, well, that's going to be the same because that's uh, the, well, we want to find the package and then the path to the file. And actually that's going to be the XML one. Okay. I changed the extension here dot launch dot xml so i will save and then let's try again so if you want to try again i will need to first build and then source and then run and you can see that's also working so we have actually included an xml launch file in a python launch file and if you want to do the same thing for yaml well i'm just gonna comment this line as well and you would do from launch underscore yaml dot launch. So that's the same launch description sources import. And you have yaml launch description source that you will put here as well. Yaml launch description source. And then here you would just change the um, extension. So here I changed the extension because I have already the demo dot launch dot yaml. So you put the path to your YAML launch file and you can save. And now you should be able to include a YAML launch file in a Python one. So let's actually build again and um, source and run. And that's correctly working. Okay, so I'm going to stop. 
So now you have seen, well, how to include a launch file inside a launch file with a Python launch file. And you can see that you can include an XML and also a YAML inside Python. Now let's go to XML site. Okay, let's write an XML launch file and include other launch files in this XML launch file. And let's, so let's do new file here. I'm gonna name it include tutorial.launch.xml. And here you will see that's gonna be super easy, much easier than with Python. So first we have a launch tag, okay? For any launch file, you will need a launch tag in your XML file. And everything is gonna be inside this launch tag. And now let's say I want to include this demo.launch.xml. So all I need to do is to add an include tag. So I add this include tag and then I will have the file. So that's gonna be the path to the file. And I close the tag and that's it. Now how to find the path to the file? Well, in order to find the package, because the package here, well, it's, it's there, but you will need to find where the package is actually installed. And so there is a function you can use. So for this, you will need to use dollar sign and then open close parenthesis. And you have this function named find dash pkg dash share. And then the name of the package here, my robot bring up. Okay, why share? Because usually you install, if you see in the cmakelist.txt, we actually install the launch files in a share. So that's an, the name of the folder in a share folder. Okay, and so that's how it's done in ROS2. And here what you're saying is, well, find the package and the share folder inside the package. So there is only this function you need to remember, find pkg share and with the name of the package. And then you can just put slash and then the path. So that's gonna be slash launch slash demo dot launch dot. Let's start with XML. All right, and well, that's it. So you can see already the difference between Python and XML to include another launch file XML is way easier. It's just one function to remember here, but then it's just a simple include and with a file attribute in the include tag. And let's try to run this. So I can do call on build again. Let's source and let's run. And to run actually, I'm gonna do include tutorial.launch.xml and you can see that's correctly working. And now the good thing is Let's say I want to include not the XML launch file, but I want to include the Python one. Then as easy as this, I just put the path to the Python launch file and that's it. And I save and then I go back and I can do call on build source and run. And that's going to work as well. And if I want to include the YAML launch file, then I just provide the path to the YAML launch file and I save and that's it. And then I build, I source and I run again. So you can see in XML, we don't have uh, all of those changes in import as well. You just put the path to the launch file that you want. And finally, let's do this for YAML. That's also gonna be quite easy. So let's create a new launch file named include tutorial.launch.yaml this time. Okay, so let's keep the same format. And for a YAML launch file, you first need to add this. So launch, colon, and then you can add your stuff. So you can add your nodes. You can also add, if you want to add an include, you do dash space include, and then another colon, and you can include another launch file. Then you go back to a new line, and then make sure you add some indentations. So here, I would recommend to add four spaces for the indentation. I have tried with two and it seems that it doesn't work. I don't exactly know why, but you need to add four spaces. And then, well, in XML, we had include and file. In YAML, we have include and file. Same, just a different way to write it. And then what we have inside is exactly the same as for XML. We will use this dollar sign, open the parentheses, and we will do find. So we have the function find pkg share with the name of the package. So my robot bring up and then slash launch. So that's gonna be from the package slash launch because we have this launch folder and then slash whatever launch file you want to start. 
So let's say we are in YAML. We want to start a YAML launch file demo dot launch dot YAML. And I can save and that's it. And I have included a launch file in YAML. And just let's just try it. So let's do a call con build. Let's do a source and let's run it. And actually let's do the include tutorial.launch.yaml. Okay, to see that it correctly works. And if you want to include a Python launch file, you just do Python here. So you just provide the path to the launch file and that's it. I'm not gonna run it here, but you get the point. And if you want to include the XML launch file, you just change the extension to XML. Of course, you need to have a launch file that matches this. Okay, I have the three here, but make sure that actually the path to the launch file exists. All right, so you can see including a launch file in another launch file is super easy in XML and YAML and much easier than with Python. So the tricky part is that for advanced features, you might have to use Python as XML and YAML are a bit more limited and don't have as much support as Python. But in 95% of the time, XML and YAML are actually gonna be completely fine for what you want to do and they are also going to keep you away from insanity. And actually, if you need to use an existing launch file that's been written in Python, you can see that you can always create another launch file in XML, for example, and you can include this Python launch file in your XML launch file to make things easier. Thank you for watching. Now subscribe here to get more tutorials in the future. Also, check out my online courses if you like what I teach. Links in the description. And see you in the next one.